If you vibing with breakbeat style of raw minimal, I think this video is perfect for you because I think it can give you lots of inspiration for that kind of um, yeah, subgenre. And I want to make a little bit of a breakdown so you can adapt stuff and hopefully come up with your very own breakbeat style raw minimal track. Also, I found it very useful to kind of um, experiment with new sub genres inside the genre right so i look at it like breakbeat is or break raw minimal is kind of um yeah sub genre of raw minimal right and whenever you get stuck i would recommend to experiment with new little uh, variations of a, of a genre right and uh, to get unstuck again so if you're stuck i highly recommend to experiment with a new little genre inside the genre or maybe using a different location maybe using new tools basically you just need something that can or unplug again the creativity switch the what i call it and that's why i'm currently recording in my car because i'm on the road and you will see lots of changing uh, backgrounds uh, for the next few weeks maybe even months let's see how things turn out and uh, yeah now let's jump into this week's video it was produced somewhere yeah in the campsite in the morning and i wanted to translate that little morning vibe maybe after our track vibe and uh, yeah hopefully you like it hopefully it's inspiring and uh, yeah if you need something to let yourself inspire to start a new track maybe with a kick uh, if you can't find the right kick samples now and then I have something for free which is my soft but snappy raw minimal Ableton Live kick template. It's a highly customizable um, yeah, little template, Ableton Live template that you can use to quickly customize or make customizable kicks right for your session. Because I found very often I insert a, a kick and on some level it doesn't fit nicely into the track anymore and searching for a new sample is time consuming so I came up with this little a tool or um, template that you can adjust very quickly just with a few dials and if you want that it's completely for free just click the link below and then you get it shipped to your inbox now let's jump over to this week's uh, video it's a breakdown that hopefully will um, inspire you to use some bits and pieces from from this video don't use everything just maybe one trigger that is that triggers new inspiration is already enough i would say so yeah now let's jump over to this week's video Cheers. all right my friends so welcome to this week's video so uh yeah experimenting a little bit with some breakbeat romanal kind of things lately and i want to share a track idea that i'm currently working on and hopefully to inspire you as well and uh, what inspired me was this uh, specific uh, artist Girla Giralda, sorry. Right, that kind of stuff. I don't have a vocal in there yet, but uh, let's play this one. And yeah, I quickly want to make a little bit of a breakdown what sounds I used and um, how I came up with them and how I possibly would proceed with this track because I think I could also add maybe a bass line. It's focusing quickly on these uh, drums here. First, I've chosen quite yeah fast bpm i think also lower bpms would do it i've chosen 129 and simply stick to this uh, ableton drum kit clint west kit called and 
And I also did or added a little bit of a redux um, to yeah make it a little bit more lo-fi style. And what I also did was, this is the clap included, and I added a simple 909 clap as a layer. Also chorus. On the kick, for example, I played a little bit with different velocities, values and stuff, but there is nothing really special going on, you know, just um, kind of not four to the floor style, right? And the rest is really, those are some loops, uh, simple hi-hat loops, why not, right, four to the floor straight, hi-hat loops, uh, here's a, another hi-hat loop. Just to give it a little bit more drive. Uh, why inventing the wheel in a new shape or way if we already have those loops, right? I mean, it's a time saver. It's just simple, four to the floor, straight, I had. Here are some percussions. Loops as again. To spice it up, to give it another another layer. Right. That's it for the drums. Now I would really want to add some kind of a bass, right? So just that you get the idea, I would stick to old school bass maybe with treble cheese something like that using mdd snake for triggering it or whatever From here we could really build up that shit, right? Yeah, then what else? Um, I have some recordings going on from from a, from a plugin that I showed in other videos. But just to complete this, it's called radio, and basically all it does is playing some radio station, yeah, radio stations, and you can simply record them, right? And that's what was what I did. For example, on this here. Right? Without Tantra. From a radio station, right? With Tantra. T 
here's another recording from kind of a, uh, I think, meditation kind of radio station. That's this experimental kind of recording from the radio station. And here it really spitted out some interesting stuff here. Right? In context, quickly. It's a nice, nice little effect build up, kind of. But it was a happy accident. Those two were closely together, those re recordings, right? And this one. Right? Now let's quickly show you that uh, plugin that I'm talking about. So there you go. Here's a random button. And then just choose some random radio station. Now I don't have a proper uh, internet connection going on, but uh, you get the idea. And then it just spits out the radio station and you can record it and mangle it and sample it and whatever you like, right? That's what I did for these uh, two uh, tracks. And then I have some piano parts here. I'm not sure about those, but... Uh, I think I need to spice them up a little bit. Some pads. Yeah, and the MIDI files, I actually, I think I extracted them from this uh, recording here, because there's a, a little piano part in there, I guess. Not sure, but I, I think I extracted them somewhere. Either from this one, or another file. But I didn't play them, I just extracted them from somewhere and then adjusted them right to the to my needs and uh, yeah so far that's the track i hope this is inspiring to you yeah to sum it up quickly there's a lot of sampling going on in this track and i think it's also great for breakbeat kind of stuff maybe and this radio plugin is great for that i would say have fun experimenting hope this helps a little bit hope this uh, inspires you a little bit to come up and experiment with new sub genre like uh, breakbeat raw minimal i like to call it yeah whenever you get stuck maybe you can try out a breakbeat style track i wish you all the best have fun and hope to see you next week thanks for watching thanks for your time cheers <laughs>